The Battle of the Java Sea Indonesian, Pertempuran Laut Jawa, Japanese, Surabaya Chong Hai Zan translate. Surabaya Oki Kaizen, lit. Battle off Surabaya in Open Sea was a decisive naval battle of the Pacific Campaign of World War II. Allied navies suffered a disastrous defeat at the hand of the Imperial Japanese Navy, on 27 February 1942, and in secondary actions over successive days. The American British Dutch Australian Command ABDACOM Strike Force Commander Dutch Rear Admiral Carol Dorman was killed. The aftermath of the battle included several smaller actions around Java, including the smaller but also significant Battle of Sunda Strait. These defeats led to Japanese occupation of the entire Netherlands East Indies. Topic. Background The Japanese invasion of the Dutch East Indies progressed at a rapid pace as they advanced from their Palau Islands colony and captured bases in Sarawak and the southern Philippines. They seized bases in eastern Borneo and in northern Celebes while troop convoys, screened by destroyers and cruisers with air support provided by swarms of fighters operating from captured bases, steamed southward through the Makassar Strait and into the Molucca Sea. To oppose these invading forces was a small force, consisting of Dutch, American, British and Australian warships—many of them of World War I vintage initially under the command of Admiral Thomas C. Hart, on 23 January 1942, a force of four American destroyers attacked a Japanese invasion convoy in Makassar Strait as it approached Balakpapan in Borneo. On 13 February, the Allies fought unsuccessfully—in the Battle of Palembang—to prevent the Japanese from capturing the major oil port in eastern Sumatra. On the night of 1920 February, an Allied force attacked the Eastern Invasion Force off Bali in the Battle of Badung Strait. Also on 19 February, the Japanese made two air raids on Darwin, on the Australia mainland, one from carrier-based planes and the other by land-based planes. The destruction of Darwin rendered it useless as a supply and naval base to support operations in the East Indies. Shortly before the battle commenced, the odds were not good for the Allied forces. They lacked cohesion ships came from four separate navies and were demoralized by constant air attacks and a general sentiment that the Japanese were unbeatable. In addition, the coordination between Allied navies and air forces was poor. <laughs> <laughs> Battle The Japanese amphibious forces gathered to strike at Java, and on 27 February 1942, the main Allied naval force, under Dorman, sailed northeast from Surabaya to intercept a convoy of the Eastern Invasion Force approaching from the Makassar Strait. The Eastern Strike Force, as it was known, consisted of two heavy cruisers HMS Exeter and USS Houston, three light cruisers Dorman's flagship HNLMS De Reuter, HNLMS Java, HMAS Perth, and nine destroyers HMS Electra, HMS Encounter, HMS Jupiter, HNLMS Courtenaire, HNLMS Witt de Witt, USS Alden, USS John D. Edwards, USS John D. Ford, and USS Paul Jones. The Japanese task force protecting the convoy, commanded by Rear Admiral Takeo Takagi, consisted of two heavy Machi and, Haguro and two light cruisers Naka and, Jinsu and 14 destroyers Yudachi, Samadere, Murasama, Harusame, Minigumo, Asagumo, Yukakaze, Tokatsukaze, Amatsukaze, Hatsukaze, Yamakaze, Kawakaze, Sazanami, and Yushio including the 4th destroyer squadron under the command of Rear Admiral Shoji Nishimura. The Japanese heavy cruisers were much more powerful, armed with 10 8-inch guns each, and superb torpedoes. By comparison, Exeter was armed only with 6 8-inch guns and only six of Houston's 9 8-inch guns remained operable after her aft turret had been knocked out in an earlier air attack. The Allied force engaged the Japanese in the Java Sea, and the battle raged intermittently from mid-afternoon to midnight as the Allies tried to reach and attack the troop transports of the Java invasion fleet, but they were repulsed by superior firepower. The Allies had local air superiority during the daylight hours, because Japanese air power could not reach the fleet in the bad weather. The weather also hindered communications, making cooperation between the many Allied parties involved, in reconnaissance, air cover and fleet headquarters, even worse than it already was. The Japanese also jammed the radio frequencies. Exeter was the only ship in the battle equipped with radar, an emerging technology at the time. 
The battle consisted of a series of attempts over a seven-hour period by Dorman's combined striking force to reach and attack the invasion convoy, each was rebuffed by the escort force with heavy losses being inflicted on the Allies. The fleets sighted each other at about 1600 on 27 February and closed to firing range, opening fire at 1616. Both sides exhibited poor gunnery and torpedo skills during this phase of the battle. Despite her recent refit with the addition of modern Type 284 gunnery control radar, Exeter's shells did not come close to the Japanese ships, while Houston only managed to achieve a straddle on one of the opposing cruisers. The only notable result of the initial gunnery exchange was Exeter being critically damaged by a hit in the boiler room from an 8-inch shell. The ship then limped away to Surabaya, escorted by Wit de Wit. The Japanese launched two huge torpedo salvos, consisting of 92 torpedoes in all, but scored only one hit, on Cortinaire. She was struck by a long lance, broke in two and sank rapidly after the hit. Electra, covering Exeter, engaged in a duel with Jintsu and Asagumo, scoring several hits but suffering severe damage to her superstructure. After a serious fire started on Electra and her remaining turret ran out of ammunition, abandoned ship was ordered. On the Japanese side, only Asagumo was forced to retire because of damage. The Allied fleet broke off and turned away around 1800, covered by a smoke screen laid by the four destroyers of U.S. Destroyer Division 58 They also launched a torpedo attack but at too long a range to be effective. Dorman's force turned south toward the Java coast, then west and north as night fell in an attempt to evade the Japanese escort group and fall on the convoy. It was at this point the ships of Desdiv 58, their torpedoes expended, left on their own initiative to return to Surabaya. Shortly after, at 21.25, Jupiter ran onto a mine and was sunk, while about 20 minutes later, the fleet passed where Cortinair had sunk earlier, an encounter was detached to pick up survivors. Dorman's command, now reduced to four cruisers, again encountered the Japanese escort group at 2300. Both columns exchanged fire in the darkness at long range, until De Reuter and Java were sunk by one devastating torpedo salvo. Dorman and most of his crew went down with De Reuter, only 111 were saved from both ships. Only the cruisers Perth and Houston remained, low on fuel and ammunition, and following Dorman's last instructions, the two ships retired, arriving at Tanjung Priyo on 28 February. Although the Allied fleet did not reach the invasion fleet, the battle did give the defenders of Java a one-day respite. <laughs> Aftermath <laughs> <laughs> Battle of Sunda Strait Perth and Houston were at Tanjung Priyo on 28 February when they received orders to sail through Sunda Strait to Jilatjap. Material was running short in Java, and neither was able to rearm or fully refuel. Departing at 2100 on 28 February for the Sunda Strait, by chance they encountered the main Japanese invasion fleet for West Java in Bantam Bay. The Allied ships were engaged by at least three cruisers and several destroyers. In a ferocious night action that ended after midnight on 1 March, Perth and Houston were sunk. A Japanese minesweeper and a troop transport were sunk by friendly fire, while three other transports were damaged and had to be beached. <laughs> Second Java Sea After emergency repairs the badly damaged Exeter left Surabaya for Ceylon, she departed at dusk on 28 February and limped toward Sunda Strait, escorted by the destroyers HMS Encounter and USS Pope. However, all three ships were intercepted by the Japanese heavy cruisers Nachi, Haguro, Mayoko and Ashigara—and their attendant destroyers—on the morning of 1 March. Exeter and Encounter were sunk together around noon, while Pope escaped only to be sunk several hours later by aerial attack. <inaudible> Bali Strait The four U.S. destroyers of Desrin 58—John D. Edwards, John D. Ford, Alden, and Paul Jones—were also at Surabaya, they left for Australia at nightfall on 28 February. After a brief encounter with a Japanese destroyer in the Bali Strait, which they were able to evade, they reached Fremantle safely on 4 March. Consequences 
A further Dutch and two American destroyers were sunk as they attempted to escape to Australia. The main ABDA naval force had been almost totally destroyed, ten ships and approximately 2,173 sailors had been lost. The Battle of the Java Sea ended significant Allied naval operations in Southeast Asia in 1942, and Japanese land forces invaded Java on 28 February. The Dutch surface fleet was practically eradicated from the Asian waters and the Netherlands would never reclaim full control of its colony. The Japanese had laid open the control of one of the most important food-producing regions, Java, and by conquering the Dutch East Indies Japan also gained ultimate control over the sources of the fourth largest oil producer in the world in 1940. The US and Royal Air Force then started to retreat to Australia. Dutch troops, aided by British remnants, fought fiercely for a week. In the campaign the Japanese executed many Allied POWs and sympathizing Indonesians. Eventually, the Japanese won this decisive battle of attrition and ABDA forces surrendered on 9 March. Rex As of 2002 the location of the wreck of only one of the nine sunken ships, HMS Jupiter, was known and plotted on an admiralty chart. However, given her location in very shallow water so close to shore she had already been heavily salvaged, in December 2002 the wrecks of Java and De Reuter were discovered by a specialist wreck diving group aboard the dive vessel MV Empress. Empress then went on to discover the wrecks of Electra in August 2003, Courtenaire in August 2004, Perth in November 2006, and Exeter and Encounter in February 2007. The wrecks were in a relatively well-preserved state. In late 2008, Empress discovered remnants of the last wreck, of Pope, which had already been largely removed by illegal salvage diving operations, although the MV Empress team kept the locations of their discoveries secret. By 2017, all nine ships had been reduced to remnants or even entirely removed by illegal commercial salvage operations. References Books <references> 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 Brown, David 1990. Warship Losses of World War II. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 1-55750-914-X. Birchall, David 1971. The Bells of the Sunda Strait. Adelaide, Australia, Rigby. Kane, T. J. HMS Electra. London, Futura Publications. Coley, Elliot 2009. Intelligence Operations at the Battle of the Java Sea. Ex Libris. ISBN 978-1-4415-1768-5. Dalbas, Andrew Death of a Navy, Japanese Naval Action in World War II. Devon Adair Pub. ISBN 0-8159-5302-X. Dull, Paul S. A Battle History of the Imperial Japanese Navy, 1941-1945. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-87021-097-1. Gill, G. Herman Chapter 15, ABDA and Anzac. Royal Australian Navy, 1939-1942. Australia in the War of 1939-1945. Series 2 Navy. Volume 1 Canberra, Australian War Memorial. OCLC 848228. Gill, G. Herman 1957. Chapter 16, Defeat in ABDA. Royal Australian Navy, 1939-1942. Australia in the War of 1939-1945. Series 2 Navy. Volume 1 Canberra, Australian War Memorial. OCLC 848228. Gordon, Oliver L. Fight It Out. William Kimber. Grove, Eric Sea Battles in Close-Up, World War II, Vol. 2. Annapolis, M.D., USA, Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-7110-2118-X. Hara, Tomechi Japanese Destroyer Captain. New York and Toronto, Ballantine Books. ISBN 0-345-27894-1. First-hand account of the battle by the captain of the Japanese destroyer Amitsukaze. Holbrook, Eber 1981. 
USS Houston, the last flagship of the Asiatic Fleet. Dixon, CA, USA, Pacific Ship and Shore. Hornfisher, James D. 2006. Ship of Ghosts, The Story of the USS Houston, FDR's Legendary Lost Cruiser, and the Epic Saga of Her Survivors. Bantam. ISBN 0-553-80390-5. Hoyt, Edwin P. 1976. The Lonely Ships, The Life and Death of the Asiatic Fleet. New York, David McKay Company. LaCroix, Eric, Linton Wells 1997. Japanese Cruisers of the Pacific War. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-87021-311-3. McKee, Ronald 1953. Proud Echo, The Great Last Battle of HMAS Perth. Sydney, Angus and Robertson. Morrison, Samuel Elliott 2001 The Rising Sun in the Pacific 1931 April 1942, Volume 3 of History of United States Naval Operations in World War II, Castle Books. ISBN 0-7858-1304-7. Parkin, Robert Sinclair 1995. Blood on the Sea, American Destroyers Lost in World War II. Da Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-81069-7. Payne, Allen 2000. HMAS Perth, The Story of a Six-Inch Cruiser, 1936-1942. Garden Island, NSW, AUS, The Naval Historical Society of Australia. Schultz, Duane The Last Battle Station, The Story of the USS Houston. St. Martin's Press. ISBN 0-312-46973-X. Thomas, David A. The Battle of the Java Sea. New York, Stein and Day. ISBN 0-330-02608-9, Van Oosten, F. C. The Battle of the Java Sea see Battles in Close-Up, 15. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-87021-911-1. Spector, Ronald The Short, Unhappy Life of ABDACOM. Eagle Against the Sun, The American War with Japan. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-394-74101-3. Whiting, Brendan Ship of Courage, The Epic Story of HMAS Perth and Her Crew. Australia, Allen and Onwin Tai, Ltd. ISBN 1-86373-653-0. Winslow, Walter G. The Ghost That Died at Sunda Strait. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0-87021-218-4. First-hand account of the battle by a survivor from USS Houston. Winslow, Walter G. The Fleet the Gods Forgot, The U.S. Asiatic Fleet in World War II. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 1-55750-928-X. Ken, Donald M. 2009. A Blue Sea of Blood, Deciphering the Mysterious Fate of the USS Edsel, Zenith Press. ISBN 0-7603-3353-X. Topic Visual Media Nick Copen, Director, 1995. Slag in de Javasie, de The Battle of the Java Sea documentary film. Netherlands, NFM, IAF, 135-minute documentary of the battle. Won the Golden Calf Award for Best Long Documentary at the 1996 Netherlands Film Festival. Topic external links Combined Fleet. Com, tabular history of Japanese ships involved in the battle. Archived from the original on 15 May 2006. Retrieved 17 May 2006. Battle of the Java Sea, 27 February 1942 by Vincent P. O'Hara. Archived from the original on 12 April 2006. Retrieved 17 May 2006. Battle of Sunda Strait, 28 February to 1 March 1942 by Vincent P. O'Hara. Retrieved 31 May 2006. Details on the battle and sunken ships from a diving site. Archived from the original on 30 April 2006. Retrieved 17 May 2006. Details on the battle and the report from the captain of HMS Exeter. Retrieved 17 May 2006. 
U.S. Navy Report of the Battle from 1943. Archived from the original on 15 May 2006. Retrieved 17 May 2006. L. Clemen. The Japanese Invasion of Dutch West Timor Island, February 1942. The Netherlands East Indies 1941-1942. Navweeps.com Order of Battle. Archived from the original on 17 May 2006. Retrieved 17 May 2006. Australian War Memorial Description of the Battle with some pictures. Retrieved 17 May 2006. Fall of the Dutch East Indies. Animated Histories of Pacific Battles of World War II. United States Strategic Bombing Survey Pacific, Naval Analysis Division 1946. Chapter 3, The Japanese Invasion of the Philippines, the Dutch East Indies, and Southeast Asia. The Campaigns of the Pacific War. United States Government Printing Office. Retrieved 20 November 2006.